Okay. And then we need your pronoun. So be prepared. Yes. I said uh, he, him. All right. Okay. Fantastic. Am I a woman? And maybe mute while you do that. Come on. Okay. I've, I've muted you. Good boy. Uh, so when you are ready to come back, I'm going to give you like 10, 15 seconds Do when I you're ready to come back. You're a woman. Uh, okay. No, but there's nothing wrong okay. with you thinking you're a woman, but I don't think. Okay. So why am I not a woman? Well, I just, well, look, like, you're not a woman. I just don't. I wouldn't assume that you endured the same trials and tribulations that. So womanhood is woman. defined, oh. defined by suffering. Hmm? Yeah, no, absolutely not. Don't speak for cis women either, please. You're not. No, don't do that. Yeah, mm -hmm. you don't understand the suffering of women at all. Don't. Who? No. You. You. I said he. And I don't. What the hell? I never claimed to know it. I said I don't think that he did. She. She. Whatever. Yeah. No, not whatever. Not whatever. Yes, whatever. Say, I'm How sorry. is it whatever? Say, I'm so sorry, you telling me I could just put a wig on and say I'm a woman? Say, no. I'm sorry. She doesn't have no. a wig on. Say, I'm sorry. And do not misgender her again. I'm sorry, Adora. I'm sorry, Adora. Thank you. All right. Good enough for me. But at the same time, like, like I said, you can't just wake up and change your gender. Good, she didn't. So yeah, so I'm not making sense that I did. Their gender. So what happened? You just affirm your gender and who you are. You just are who gender you identity are. Gender identity. You just affirm it. We all what? affirm it in different ways. Cis women, right, trans yeah. women, we all affirm it in different ways. I guarantee you, you affirm your gender every day, every day. Gender identity develops in the brain when you are a child. Hey, uh, good boy, is that you in your profile picture? Yes. Why do you have a beard? Because I'm a man. So that's, it affirms your gender. Right, so are men without well, beards? I just think my, like, the fact that, like, I was born a guy, like, so. so but, like, but, but are men without beards still men? Kind of no. What? <laughs> That's insane. <laughs> he he heard so, it. Damn, I'm wrong. You are a woman because you don't have a beard. Okay, so you're being that so you're trying so to just, damn. Okay, you're being disingenuous now. That's what you're trying to do. But he's sarcastic. Is that what you're yeah, doing? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I am joking, but. Like, Why? I'm just a guy. I, I just feel like there's nothing wrong with a door or anything he's got going on. I don't or she's got going on. But I just feel like you're not a woman. I'm obviously I'm gonna respect you. I'm gonna be respectful. You haven't been respectful oh, yeah. this time. Yes, I misgendering her. No, you're not. Yeah. Yeah, you have not been respectful. It's not I I'm not doing it on purpose though. I'm not used to you know what I mean? Okay, why why do you believe trans women should not be included into womanhood? Why do you believe that? Because if you have to put trans, you have, you have to, if you have to put trans in front of it, you're just not a woman. Okay, okay. We can, okay well, um, that's just like why didn't you just call him a woman, her a woman? Are all women women? Can, okay, if you that's keep misgendering, we're just times. gonna drop you down. We're just yeah. going to drop you down if you it's keep not on purpose. Adora, we'll if I was doing it on purpose, well, you're not even trying to correct yourself. We have I to corrected you. myself every time. What are you talking about? But, no, you didn't. I literally said sorry every time. Um, yeah, a good boy. I definitely want you to be, um, gendering trans people correctly. Uh, I'm not going to drop you for, for misgendering me unless I believe that you are intentionally doing so. No, I'm not. I'm just like, you know, you know, I am okay. sorry. But nonetheless, uh, are tall women women? Yes. Then why do they need that word in front of them? Because they're tall. Okay. I, I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. Okay. Fantastic. So that's why the word trans is in front of woman for me, because it describes an aspect of my womanhood. Do you, boy, why, I, I just, just a question. Why do you feel you're a woman? It's my innate sense of self. I've felt this way my entire life. Thank you for the head mustache. I guess I ought to set up a new gift goal now that we're not uh, ending the live. <laughs> like when, like, so your whole life, you just felt like you're we're a woman so okay but it's like 
it's like, ma'am, you're you're not though. And yet you can't give me a reason why I'm not. Because you were born with a winky. Okay, so do you know the difference between sex and gender? Okay. I mean, I know it, but it's like... I mean, I guess it's your reality at the end of the day, but, like, I'm in my reality. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like... Do you know the difference between sex and gender? No, I said yes, but I'm I'm saying okay, it's your then, reality then, at then, the end of the day. So Just, just to make sure that we're on the same page, then you just... But I need, I need to make sure we're on the same page here. We can't move forwards in this conversation if we're not on the same page. Yeah. So if you could tell me what the difference between sex and gender is, that would be awesome. <laughs> you got anything for me? Nothing? He left. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, so the old mustache is dead, guys, so it's time for a new mustache. It was, I'm shocked you were able to make them last that long, the mustaches. I, they fall off my face so quick. <laughs> I've gone long. through, like, this set came with four sheets. I'm down to, like, one and a half sheets. There we go. <laughs> How many mustaches right. do you have? Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, twelve, forty-eight. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Four, five, six, twelve, forty-eight. I love that. <laughs> so I, each each sheet has two rows. So I counted the uh, how yeah. many were in a row. Uh, yeah. So I just doubled that to twelve because it's six per row, and then I had four sheets, so forty-eight. <laughs> mm -hmm. I wish I was that good at math. <laughs> Dizzy is Andy sitting. Is Andy still next to you, Dizzy? What? No. Is Andy? Oh, thank you, Andy. Love you. Andy heard you. I love you, Reggie. Love you. Is how nice she is, right. Sarah? She's nice. Oh. Uh, you know what? You're so lucky I'm on Dizzy's account. Otherwise, the words that almost came out of my mouth would have been blasted <laughs> to 2.7 thousand people. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, 82 guest requests. Wow. Wow, Andy. guys. I don't think you had to take a mental health break. Are you taking a mental health break? No, I'm not taking a mental health break. No, nah, she's good. I just hopped on, so she's not going to be like, get off. <laughs> <laughs> only tell you to get off in other ways. Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, new guest. Sorry. Okay. Um, Savannah, how you doing? Good. How are you? Uh, you're a little bit quiet. Can you come closer to your mic? Can you hear me now? Yes, I can. Your age and pronouns, please. I am 31 and she, her. I think 31, I'm she, her. Female, she, her. <laughs> All right. Badass. And am I a woman? Um, I believe that you are, which I really don't know like a whole lot about it. Um, I have a friend that I actually met on here that we got really close. And, um... She, or, yeah, she's transitioning from a he to a she. And I'm just trying to figure out, like, a little bit more about it, because I've kind of watched Ari a little bit. Love Ari. Ari's amazing. Everyone follow Ari. And I'm just trying to, like, how, like, understand, like, wh how does it happen? Like, how do you, are you born thinking that, um, feeling that... <laughs> You are trapped in the wrong body, or like, how does some of us do use the the, the phrase "trapped in the wrong body"? Uh, I do on and off, kind of. Um, I don't love the phrase, but it kind of is an okay explanation for it. But uh, gender identity de develops between the ages of three and seven, so that's when a that's when it is typical for a child to recognize that they're a boy, that they're a girl, etc. And some people, um, some kids, will recognize that their gender has developed incongruently from their sex. So I recognized that I was a girl, even though everyone was telling me that I was a boy. Does that cause a lot of issues mentally for you? Like, um, people trying to tell you that you're something that you know in your head you're not? Yes, it caused a lot of suffering uh, because I was not educated on LGBT matters, on, on trans people. Because I had no trans people to look up to, I felt alone, I felt broken, felt like there was something wrong with me, and uh, that led to a lot of depression. 
I can understand that. Yeah, see, I'm, I've never been around it either. Um, I grew up in a Baptist household where you were born with certain parts. You were gender, sex, whatever. You know, I know it's different now. But back then, you know, you were told you got a male appendage, you're a male, you got a female, you're a female, and you don't think no other way. You know, like very conservative, conservative. Thank you, <laughs> Uh huh. Oh, it's, uh, Re Reggie sent me a little heart, okay. so I said thank you. <laughs> um, very conservative, conservative type home. So I'm just trying to understand y'all, like what y'all are going through and how it, okay. how it is. So I am looking for opposition, Savannah. I think it might be a good idea for you to listen in on this live because you're going to hear all kinds of opinions from my guests. Okay. Um, I'll but I am looking for opposition. So I can watch you some more. Sorry? I sent you a follow so I can watch your lives. All right, fantastic. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. You have a good day, okay, Savannah? You too. Right. Everyone, I, I, I'm i addicted to, uh, to TikTok Live, so I have no idea how long I'm going to be on. Uh, keep tapping that screen. Let's get it past 500,000 likes. I've only, I think I've only been past 500,000 maybe two other times. So let's do it, guys. Let's, let's break 500,000 likes. I have a question, Dora. Yep. What's your favorite Doritos? Favorite? It's, it's it's plain. It's plain Doritos. There's plain ones? Well, not plain. You know, like like original? Oh, cool okay. Nacho. I like sweet yeah. chili. Nacho. <laughs> not, so nacho is not the plain one. Cool Ranch is plain. Is plain. <laughs> oh, those are gross. Oh, see, Cool Ranch. That's not what everybody thinks of when you say plain. I like the really? I, like, I love no I think of the nacho like the just Yeah, you know, those are like the original one, not they? Yeah. Are the nacho the original? The nacho's like okay. The nacho it's boring. Ones, but from Mexico. Because I don't like cool ranch. Different. I don't like ranch stuff, so I love cool ranch. Yeah, cool ranch. That's easily my favorite. Rar, thank you so much. Trash. <laughs> <laughs> Agree to disagree. <laughs> yeah, also hate do, you see, do you see how we can do that as friends but still support yeah. each other's human rights wow that's amazing shocking okay this person's not connecting everyone keep tapping tap and share please do you want me to let people in as well so you can play <laughs> <laughs> yeah we can do we can control the mod that's stuff. Right, you, you can. want to just yeah. pay attention to your games <laughs> <laughs> How you doing, baby face? I'm good. How are you? Doing all right. Age and pronouns, please. I'm 28 and she, her. 28, she, her. Fantastic. And am I a woman? Uh, from what I can see, yes. But at the end of the day, it's what you identify as is what you identify as. I would have to agree with that. Um, mm -hmm. Are you opposition, baby face? Oh, oh, no, I'm sorry. Are you looking for opposition? <laughs> Yes. I'm sorry about that. Um, I'm not opposed. No problem. <laughs> Appreciate the support, though. You have a good day, baby. Face. You too. Opposition only in the box. If you please check to see if you've accidentally requested. Friendlies, drive-bys are sometimes welcome. Can you guys see that? It's my cat. See what? It's my a, cat oh, laying on adorable. my kid. On a child, I was going <laughs> to say. <laughs> Hello, Guts. How you doing? Hi, I'm good. How are you? Doing all right. Your Asian pronouns, please. I'm 17, and it's she, her. I appreciate you being honest. Yeah. We got to be 18 to go live. I can't wait till we can do this in person again. Right. Me too. It's so close. I know. <laughs> oh, oh, snap. I ain't all, all going to get picked. Oh, snap. Oh, my kid. How are you doing? I'm doing fine. Yourself? Doing all right. Your agent pronouns, please. I am a. I don't know how to say it. Him, him. <laughs> okay. Him. And your age? Twenty-nine. Okay. And uh, am I a woman? Yes, you are. It it does it doesn't matter. Like love is love. You know what I mean? That doesn't make sense, but okay. Right. That's not quite the question, <laughs> but I, I'm, I'm glad that you think that I'm a woman. Um, are you opposition? What does that mean? Like, I'm, I'm, I'm getting hit with like words I've never heard of. <laughs> okay, so I'm looking for people that think that I'm not a woman. Well, that's the thing. I'm, 
Well, that's the thing. I'm not judgmental, you know what I mean? Like, I don't like to judge people. I just... Okay, that's great. It sounds to me like you're not opposition, though. So I really appreciate you, Wizzy, but I am looking for people to have a debate. All right, for sure. You have a good day, Wizzy, okay? You too. Thank you for coming on. Bye. Yeah, it sounded like a smoke detector. (laughs) Yeah. Guys, I do not want anyone mocking the guests for not knowing the definition of the word. It's okay to not know things. Mm -hmm. It seems like he was trying to learn. Sweet. (laughs) He was trying. Yeah. Nate, I can try to do your hair. You have really dark hair, though. I don't know how, how much bleach. I'm really good at it. I'm, I've done, I've bleached so many people's hair. Oh, well, there you go. Let Dizzy do it. Hi. How are you doing today? I'm good, and you? I am doing fantastic. Um, Your agent pronouns, please. I'm 23, and I don't know my pronouns. So, okay, it's okay to not know them. Um, is... How do you identify? <laughs> okay. You said, how do I? Yeah, do you identify as, as a, a man, a woman, non-binary, as a woman? And uh, when people refer mm-hmm. to you, do you do you prefer them to use what what pronouns? Like, like he, him, they, them, she, her. She. Okay, fantastic. All right, and she. am I a woman? Um, no. Why am I not a woman? In my opinion. Yeah, why? Because you weren't born. No one is Nobody's born, born a woman. woman. You weren't born a woman. I wasn't born a woman. No one is born a woman. But I was though. At birth. Female. You were a girl. Like that's on my Female? Yes. Like that's what I was identified as. Mm-hmm. And is female and woman the same thing? Most definitely. No. I mean, but okay. So I can mm-hmm. say that woman so, and before men. Before we move on, we hold on one second. Hold same. on one second. Excuse me. You're misinformed, and we need to just, we're going to try to educate. Um, so sex and gender are different. Do you know the difference between sex and gender? Um, you can inform me. Yeah, sex is what we're assigned at birth. They usually look at our genitals and they assign us a sex. It's usually male or female. There's there's intersex, but that's a different conversation. It's made up by five characteristics. There's that five characteristics make up our sex. And gender is our psychosocial schema that develops starting at starting in the womb and it finishes developing around the age of seven. Okay, but my so, point is going back to at birth, you know, when you come out the womb, well, first of all, they know the birth at a certain trimester when you're pregnant, when a woman is pregnant. And they my know opinion, the sex? Is that what you're trying to say? They know the sex of the baby? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, they know that if the baby's going to, they usually know if it's going to be a female or a male. Yes. But they don't assign it, oh, you know, we don't say babies are women, right? Okay. Women is a gender identity that comes later as an adult. Mm-hmm. And we do so, as society do you tend. Have, okay, so. Wait, as a society, we do say, tend. Hold on. As a society, we do tend to assign gender based on sex. Right. And typically it lines up. So typically if a child is born female, they typically identify as a girl and then later on a woman. But it doesn't always happen like that. Sometimes they're born female and they identify as a man or a boy when they're when they're a child and then a man later. The same thing with a, a trans woman. They're, um, they are born male and they identify as a woman later on in life. Okay, so 
I'm okay. I'm still confused because what about the people that are that come out knowing exactly what they are? Okay. Like how do you, you later mean know what's your like are you saying that in gender? Right. So what happens is like you were you're born and you're so I'll use myself as an example. I'm a cisgendered woman. Okay, so I was a, I was female. I am a female at birth, and I identified as a girl, and I identify as a woman. So I'm cisgender. My sex and my gender are congruent. If they mm-hmm. were incongruent, then I would be a trans person. That's That's what transgender means. So if I was okay. born female and I identified as a man, I would be a transgender man. But since I identify as a woman, I am cisgendered. Okay. It makes sense because you're transitioning. It's your later transitioning. Okay. All right. It's, I mean, you don't have to transition in order to be trans. So I, I'm I hope I'm glad we're getting through to you, but it but trans does not inherently mean transition. It's short for transgender. You don't have to do anything to your body um, to identify as transgender, to be transgender, excuse me. Okay. So, but if you're not transitioned, like if you haven't done anything to your body, then you're still that sex right we're not mm-hmm. claiming to change our sex i can change aspects of my sex we're talking about gender and we're not talking about changing our gender we're talking about affirming it okay around okay I'm, I'm just trying to get more educated on this of course now. that's 100 percent okay yeah well that was nice thank you I don't think I have any more questions or anything else. I think it was really bad. Okay. Well, uh, you have a good day. I hope you will continue to listen in on, you can listen in here. You can listen in on other trans lives. I hope you will continue to listen, but uh, you have a good day. You have a good day too. Bye. Bye. Have a good day. We still have 70 requests, my God. Even with the numbers starting to go down a little bit, we still have 70 requests. Was my cats are just trapping my entire place right now. No, it doesn't matter what we say, Reggie. Kind of True, I know, but I, like, I still, like if I was coming off as rude, like I, I, I don't think so. Okay, I was, I thought we made it, I thought we went, got through to her. I, yeah, I, I definitely think that Hi, there's Reggie. progress there. L Mel L Reggie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I appreciate you guys. Thank you. Joel, you are always in here watching, commenting, like I see you all the time. All right, this person's not connecting. Hot dog's here. No. Hot dog is one of the is one of my friends that never gets put up at the top. Ever. So half the time, I never even know that Hot Dog is requesting. That's weird. All right. Thank you yeah, for mine does that, too. There's certain people it puts way on the bottom. Hello, Hot Dog. Kieran, uh, Kier- Kieran, weren't you up here earlier, or am I wrong? What was that? Were you up here earlier today? Uh, no, I have not been on here at all, actually. Okay. But, uh, what are your, what's your age and your pronouns? I am 20, and uh, my pronouns are she, her. All right, fantastic. Am I a woman? Um, I mean, if you all want to identify as one, I believe you can. But me personally, I don't think you are. I mean, do you? Were you born with male anatomy at birth? Yep. So you're a man. It's settled. Keyword there is male. So you're a man. It's settled. Why nope. does it? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> we got a power. That is what we call I... power. I was gonna say I recognize that voice. I think I yeah. think she does that. <laughs> Karen, come back, come back up, come back up. You you think you think you got a mic drop? You think you did? 
here's the mic. Uh, you think you dropped it, but uh, I caught it. I caught it. So uh, come on, come on back up. Let's talk. Why do people care so much what people like originally have on their bodies? Like, I'm not going to say that I don't I don't know what Adora's original hair color is, but I'm not going to say Adora's a brunette. I'm going to say that she has green hair. Oh, there you go. That is there you go. But I'll say that you have green hair <laughs> to describe you. It doesn't matter what somebody originally has. Yeah, that's strange. Oh, thank you. Hello. Hello, uh, Ar Armian. Yeah. Fantastic. And uh, your age and pronouns, please. Uh, I'm 24. He, him. All right. And am I a woman? Am right. I? What I'm thinking right now, in my current, my present state of ignorance, is that you are a trans woman or trans i am a trans woman but i'm also a woman well see i think a woman isn't a trans woman but i think a trans woman is a trans woman or trans why because you introduce yourself as a trans woman and trans do i <laughs> well you you did right now like you you said i mean it says right up here i am a woman it doesn't say i'm a trans woman Yes, but I think you're a trans. Like you're not a woman. You're a trans woman or trans. Because like what is when I when I talk to a woman, they don't say that they're trans or a trans woman. But when I talk when you talk to, to you, a tall woman, does she say that she's tall? Uh, no. When you talk to a smart woman, does she say that she's smart? Well, they they. I just feel like, in terms of right. gender, like fixating on gender specifically i feel like there is a branch of being trans that is uh inseparable, of being trans. inseparable from the identity like i feel like you like you making this like a woman wouldn't make a poll asking if they are a woman oh, this is please. such bad logic you guys i hear this every day uh -huh. this is such um, bad logic Okay, and and you're understand. you're wrong anyway. Well, if like okay, so if my if my mom went on and by the way, I just want to have like complete respect right now because I'm working through this thought as well. So like there's there's complete respect on both ends. I'm not trying to like th these conversations are difficult for me because I I I don't want to it's it's difficult to have a conversation where the the direction goes in the way of disvalid invalidating your entire core identity, which is like a very tall tower that you have built up That's through. What you're doing. What? No, well, well, this is what, well. Like, I just want so I have a really good example. So just this hold on a second. So the other day, no, hold on. The other day, I I ran a live with Adora, right? And I had I am a good mom. Prove me wrong. And I did have someone message me and say, "Well, if you were a good mom, you wouldn't actually have to put that up there." Like that's not the point. That like that doesn't mean shit. That's just really stupid logic. It's, well, if you said, "Are you a mom?" If you if you made a thing that said, I, 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 "Am I a mom?" If you're asking, "Am I a mom?" and you are a mom, like why would you ask people if you're a mom? If that wasn't the it. point of her. That wasn't what she said. Well, well, I think her point was was not completely correlated to the point that is in this. The current point example. is, is that it's a conversation starter. That's right. the point. She puts it up there so that we can have a conversation. Yes, we do attract yeah. awful bigoted people. And if you are going to be an awful bigoted people, we will not respect you. That's how it works in these spaces. No, but I'm saying, well, well yeah, I understand. But I'm just saying, like, if in this previous example, you said, am I a mom? And you are a mom. I think the question in itself is That's pointing towards the fact that... What would be the that, purpose of that question? Hmm? What would be the purpose of asking someone, am I a mom? Well, what's the pur purpose of asking, am I a woman? She didn't say, we am I. It's a conversation it says, started. I am. So it would be me saying, I am a mom. Prove well, you're saying, yeah, and exactly. And it's because, wait, it's because that people don't think that she is. That's the point. Right. So it doesn't mean that she's not. It's a well. The thing is, the thing. See, see like the thing. I, is like, if I, I am a cisgender woman, are, right? So if I ran the topic, I am a woman. Prove me wrong. It doesn't mean that I'm not a woman because well, why that's would my you topic. Add, like, if, you were, if you uh, like, see, the thing is, like, why, like, why would you need 
to ask that question if you know for a fact okay. that you are that okay. thing. Like, Stop. I'm, I'm black. I wouldn't because, say, like, am I black? Because people, because people Arby, Arby, do, you, do you believe that I am a woman? I believe you're a trans woman. There's the reason that I have to ask this. Because I am a woman, and a huge percent of the population thinks that I'm not. I, um, I understand. That's why I have to ask this. Well, uh, okay, uh, another... do you understand how adjectives work? Yes. To describe a noun? Yes. Okay, what is the noun in, in trans woman? Uh, transitioned. That is not no. the noun. Or, or trans, like trans, like like. No, no, trans. no, no, no. That is not the noun. Okay, so tell me. Woman is the noun. Okay. So why can we not just use the noun? Why do we have to always describe the noun instead of just saying the noun? Why do we have to describe the noun instead of saying the noun? Exactly. In every what do you mean? situation. What do you mean? Like I am a black woman. But I don't have to always say that. I can just say I am a woman. I don't have to always describe the noun, which is a woman. I don't have to. Well, describe yeah, you can. It. You can say you can say you're a woman for sure, but you're still a black woman. Okay, but I am a woman. Yes, it doesn't, yes, yes. The, the adjective doesn't take away from the noun of her being a woman. That's the point. Just like yeah. trans doesn't take away from being a woman, it's just an adjective that describes the noun. Yes, okay, I understand what you're saying. Um, so another another part of uh, another part of my current like uh, confusion. So you, is, what, what was that? I mean, so do you agree trans women are women? Well, I'm still exploring the thought because uh, I'm not like, yeah, I'm, I'm still exploring the thought because another point that I'm thinking of is um oriented around like beyond like the cosmetic part of a woman and more so thinking about like for example i think there's yeah i think there's aspects of women that that are beyond cosmetic and i think in america it's like oh a, a woman um is like the things that they wear and the things that they uh, do you, do you think that themselves out? You didn't say anything about do cosmetic. You, what are you talking about? So, wait, do you, you think being a what? trans woman is purely cosmetic? Well, I think a lot of it is cosmetic based. It's not. It's literally not. It's not. Do you know what it, trans okay. means? Yes. Well, I, what does it mean? Uh, trans. It means like uh, trans, like kind of from one to another like transition no no it means on another side well the prefix trans means on another side uh the way we're using it is it's short for transgender it just means their gender identity doesn't align with their sex assigned at birth you don't have to transition to be trans okay okay so, just why can trans women be included in womanhood? Why can't trans women be included in womanhood? Um, cause I, uh, I guess I think women are like very, um, uh, to like to go from being a man to a woman. I feel like there's it's there's not what we're claiming is happening. Yeah, they were never men. So what I'm saying See? is, why can't trans women be a part of womanhood? Why can't they? What would be the negative effects of us recognizing trans women as women? Well, like, like, a, like, like a hundred, hundred percent where like trans women don't have to make the preface that they are trans. Like they're just fully woman, like without. We don't have to say that we're trans women. Yeah, I don't did know you, what you mean by wait, fully a woman. But, but, but I think you did do. Did you hear I what I said? I think did you, you do hear what I said? Because because I feel because, like. But I think you do have to preface it because you, you still have like. Ma like uh, uh, origins of a masculine and, and like uh like struct like body structure Arians, what did, did you hear what i said yes but like i'm saying that repeat if you are me. if you repeat it to me you're saying if you're trans it's being on the other side of like gender identity and it doesn't necessarily no trans no, means that, that your sex kind of person and gender identity don't align 
Say it again. It that means that you're a sex Sorry. It's, it's just funny that you, that you went back to saying exactly the opposite of what I had said. Like, oh, from going from being a man to being a woman. That's not what being trans is. Being trans well, I is said, your I said gender, gender identity, identity doesn't align with your... I'm sorry. That, your that's gender what I said. Identity doesn't, I'm sorry. Uh, your gender identity doesn't align with your assigned sex at birth. That's what I said. No, it's not. Yeah, I said the I said the, the other side of gender identity when it doesn't necessarily when they're they're. That's like, not what Hot Dog just said to you. The other well, side of gender identity. We're not saying that, that there's an other side of gender identity. This is just their gender identity well, that doesn't align with their biological sex. That's but what I meant when I said the question on what the negative effects would be on saying that trans women are women and including uh, them. Okay, in okay, women. let me explain. Okay. Because I, I I well that was I was trying to say what you were what, what your point was by saying the the other side of gender identity but I guess like the semantics of my words didn't like feel like it synced up semantics. But anyway. it's really not semantics I mean you, you you first of all you said the noun in trans woman was transitioned when that's a verb past tense um so I I think you need to focus more on accuracy so, in so, your speech. so okay because we, we, you 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 hear something and then say something completely different and then call it semantics. It's just so, it's disingenuous. No, but no, my my words came out differently. But I was trying to express that like the that your point was that their their gender identity was not uh, aligned with their like assigned like original state. Anyway, I am point my that point that I, so so yeah, you're right. So the the other thing that I was curious about was th the reason why I I feel like you have to preface trans uh, and say that you're trans is because like like your biological structure is intrinsically different than some than uh, uh, I think a vast majority of uh, right. That has nothing to do with whether or not I'm a woman, though. And that has to do with whether or not I'm male or female. Well, I think it has to do with you being completely female or being trans or being uh like 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 someone who is uh like not a hundred percent a biological female Be and i think that differentiation is what important percentages of female like, yeah the one like, thing by percent like that, that, like you, biologically so you're saying that their body what about their body that you have a problem with well, I don't. The I personally don't have a problem with it, but I'm just thinking within like the the delicate social fabric of things like, uh, I don't know, incarceration systems, prisons, uh, places oh, where fuck. places. I think, like, it, I think it would be extremely dangerous to put a trans woman in a um a men's prison. That would absolutely. be extremely dangerous. But what if what if they identified as a man? What if they identified as a man? What? what if a woman what if a woman identified as a man and went into a man's prison a I woman yeah, okay. men should be in the men's prison I, that is not what i just said i well, you said you think it's... what i that's not what i just said i said putting a trans woman in a jail that is meant for men when she's a woman will be highly dangerous for her and i think it could be dangerous for uh, other other women to put a trans like if like for example if i decide if, if i had statistically if, no well, no one's I'm deciding saying, anything well, I'm again just saying, i'm just saying and like no like, if, if wait, wait wait let me like let me make a point like if no if, your point like, is dumb six, if, if like a six five uh woman with like a penis went to a woman's prison i think there could be issues well what did the penis have to do with anything <laughs> And what, what does they're six trans. five have to do with anything? There are tall women. I know, no, but but I'm just saying. Yeah, it, but what did is... the penis what did the penis have to do with your point? Like a six five woman? Because I'm is yeah, scary I'm period. Six, like like yeah, like a six there's five. There's six five there's six five cis women. Okay, like, so are you are you determining women by their genitalia? Do you think like the interchanging of woman and vagina is the same thing? Do I think the interchanging of a woman? Say that again. Do you just see women as vaginas? Yeah, there you go. No. 
That's why I said a six five woman with a penis. I just said that. So why would you care? Why does it yeah, matter? Because if if like thing? for example, like if yeah, because I think it's it's worth noting that if like a, like if there was a prison, uh, if I was if I was a woman and my prison mate was a six five woman with a penis, I would be very terrified. Like, How are would, you gonna know that? What are you because, talking about? I would love for you to take a poll on on female prisoners about this because guaranteed they're not that fucking scared of that well well the reason the, the reason why i bring it up is because the there's reason, fucking the reason, shanks in prison dude the reason the reason why i bring but, but, it up the reason no, why i bring it up is because if 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 so you, wait, wait, if wait, wait, anyone the has the ability we went to, to this, this subject in God, the first place, if the and hypothetical we things are Oh, sorry. Because he's if, about to make a really awful claim too. Because yeah. if we if, we went on this subject and on why we should like we, why we shouldn't allow trans women into womanhood, why what is your reasoning for that? You brought up a penis. Why does that matter? Well, I was just talk. I, I was making a point that the the distinction of being trans and being a woman is an interesting thing to observe because if what we is the say, distinction? If what we say if we say that this six five woman with a with a penis with with Stop a huge Stop saying that. Stop. Why not? Because why, why you're being disingenuous. That? You're not answering the question. Uh, what is uh, what is the problem? Because also every trans woman doesn't have a penis. I know. So I, I, why do you keep saying that over and over and over again? And what because, about wait wait wait? And what about trans men with penises? Do and with your logic, you would believe that a trans man that's six foot five with a penis belongs in a woman's prison? No. Why would so why where, would so where should the trans man go? Well, I personally think that in an idealized situation we shouldn't even say man or woman in those situations. We should like kind of organize the prison based on like, like testosterone, testosterone and like uh, body weight or something. Because if ever, if a whole bunch of people and, and like, we should like eliminate the man and woman thing. And that's Think that through real quick. You, yeah. I'm going to tell you what my therapist has told me. Play the tape. Play the What's tape. What's up? Play the fucking tape. Like, okay. Are you serious? Uh, what? What? What are you asking? Well, you completely. You just love to pivot and like not address actual things that I'm saying. Well, I'm just telling you, like, like what my where I'm naturally like thinking because, like, I don't know. It's a difficult situation. Like, if people are, if people with. Uh, you know, penises are identifying as women and going into female prisons. And if people with, you know, like, do you honestly think that that's how it works? That's name one case works, where a um, just said. name one case in which a cisgender woman was gravely harmed by a transgender woman in prison. Where a cisgender woman, well, um. And and don't even think about bringing up the New Jersey case because that was consensual sex. Like he has no point. Like that's also why he keeps pivoting because his logic doesn't make any sense. No, I think he's looking oh. up his confirmation bias. Oh, Mel left. Okay, well, I don't know if Mel's oh, still yeah. here, but bye, Mel. Thank you. <laughs> she said she had a call. I don't know if she was coming okay. back. Hey, me when I'm like tabbed out. Hello. Okay. Can you? Yep, you're here. I hear you. Yeah. Oh, could, could you not hear? Could you not hear me when I was tabbed out? No. Yeah, you have to no. No. We can't hear you off the app. Oh, so I saw an article that was talking about a female prisoner that was harmed by a trans inmate. But uh, but when I started reading it out, yep. I think that what, was tabbed. What out. state? So I can look it up. Just type in free female prisoner harmed by trans inmate, and I like clicked the first one and just started reading. So you search with confirmation bias. That's 
Anyway. Well, I was looking. I was you. You told me to search up uh, one instance, so I typed in exactly that. I didn't. I typed in has. I typed in has a. I typed in has a female prisoner been harmed by a trans inmate, and then I just clicked the first link. Do you understand what confirmation bias is? Well, yes, but he he told me to find one instance of a trans woman that was a a a inmate that was harmed by a trans woman. So, if so. you were really concerned about this, I feel like you probably would have known what case you were talking about. Well, I just typed it in for the first time right then because I was using like right MTV. because you don't actually care about this. You're just trying to make a point in this argument that you're not doing very good at. Well, my, 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 it's more so like curiosity and it's coming from a place of like a personal state of like intuition, not like research. Okay. So you, you just have an aversion to trans people. You just have a, you have an aversion for them to be accepted in society personally. Well, yeah. Do you think that's a good way of life is to just, I, I, I don't think it's, I don't think it's not actually research and understand these things. Because you're I think, very far behind in all in this subject, friend. I think it's difficult because it's a it's a way of life that's asking for acceptance, like intrinsically. We all what? ask for acceptance. What the fuck are you talking I about? I don't. Yes, we do. I don't. Yes, you, you wouldn't. Do. You're not asking for health care. Like you, do you think that it's okay for people to take away your health care just for you simply existing? Well, I don't. They don't agree with for, it. I don't ask for acceptance of my identity okay that's not what i asked you like if somebody was taking if people well were i'm specifying my point if, people if were you were in a hospital away, sorry it's okay if people were taking away your health care for you being who you are you you would accept that you would just say well i don't need anybody's acceptance so that's fine or would you fight against that uh i see, I see what you're saying yeah I would. Okay. Well, that's what's happening right now. She's not seeking validation. She's trying to fight for her rights. We all want a, a certain level of obsessed, ugh, being upset, accepted. I can't speak in society. Like we, we all want a level of that. Well, the more, we the more, the rights, more I've given decency, respect. We all ask those things and there's nothing wrong with asking those things. And you still have not given a good or valid reason on why trans women should be excluded from um, womanhood. You still have not given a valid reason for that at all. <clears throat> yeah. Well, like the, the, the only, and, and I, 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 I think being included in womanhood is something that like, I don't want to, I don't want to take, that away from anyone uh no are you are you a woman huh you're like so, a woman like what is your point dude like i don't understand the point of this conversation you keep backtracking well, 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 my, my whole point since the beginning is 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 i feel like uh trans women and women are like not like fully 100 percent completely identically the same thing like that was my main they're point not in the beginning and uh they're not. But we're not making that claim, though. So wait, wait, why wait. are you bringing that up? Wait, wait, wait. We are so, making the claim that trans women and women are the same. We're not saying that trans women and cis women are the same. Just like we're saying that tall women and short women are not the same. Okay, so um, uh, so I agree with you then. I, I, um, but they're still all I, women. I'm sorry, hot dog. Go on. It's it's okay. Um. I think I interrupted you. So, never mind. What was that? Oh yeah. So yeah, I I agree with you. Like I don't I I don't think that my point has ever been that like uh, I don't want. Oh oh no. When I when I meant when I said I think I interrupted you, I was talking to Michaela. Okay. Um. <clears throat> anyway. Yeah. So like my my point was always fixated around the like the 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 kind of cloud of thoughts that like yes. Uh, I agree that that I think trans women could be, you know, included in, in, in many aspects of of uh, cis womanhood. Uh, but I guess like a lot of my thoughts were circling around, like, 
there is like there is a hundred percent a difference uh within the identity of a trans woman and a cis woman and i, I guess i'm thinking that those two self perceptions uh or like like the manifestations of those differences is what i was considering in terms of like the way that we currently orient things as like uh society like for yeah. example like yeah i don't know like for, for example like in yes like, so that's a that's a no shit sherlock like trans but like, women in like, but, and cis women there's a reason for for there being different terms they're not going they're not the same trans women and cis women are not the same but they are both women uh question just quick question um the article that you read was that out of illinois I uh I I was just searching articles and reading them as I was like looking at them and it it cut me out of the live so I just stopped looking at articles. Oh, that's that's hilarious uh, that you looked at headlines. Um, no, I, so I just the didn't, no, first I just, article I that I pulled up article. was I, I a sing- I just the stopped. first article that I pulled up. I'm sorry. The first article that I pulled up was a. I'm so seriously. Uh, the first article that I pulled up was a uh, case out of Illinois where a cisgender woman claimed she was uh, sexually assaulted by a trans woman. Uh, in the same state, there were two transgender women who demanded to be uh, moved from the male prison to the female prison because they were sexually uh, assaulted by um, multiple inmates and multiple guards. So. Not to diminish anyone's experience, but trans women are, as Michaela said earlier, are at a higher risk for assault. Uh, 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 in prisons? Everywhere. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's, un- that's unfortunate. I'm sorry to hear that to the, all the trans prisoners. It th- I just think it's absolutely ridiculous that we're having, like... <laughs> Trans women are women, and they so so another question I have, and and, and trans and, men are men, and they're not going to be. I don't want them in women's spaces. You don't. You said you don't want them in women's spaces. I don't want trans men to be in women's spaces because they are men. Okay, so what about like, if you're in a woman's? So this is another question I have. Like, if you're like in like, for example, like. Uh, in like a public bathhouse in like Japan or something, uh, if like a trans woman came in, but like they were not really into like all the like surgeries or anything, and uh, you know they were just in a place with like you know young. Why do you always use that as an argument? Why are well, you it's just a always thought. saying no, 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 no? Why are you always saying? a a trans woman that hasn't gone through any um level of transition because there's a lot of trans women that do that that as a point and why are you using a bathhouse in japan because i'm this is part of trying to understand like uh like uh, social settings like those trans women are i I can i can answer this question from real life experience uh a bathhouse in new york or a bathhouse in chicago yeah um yeah, so typically bath, the bathhouse in New York or the bathhouse in Chicago are gay spaces for gay men. Uh, sometimes trans women show up. Sometimes trans men show up. Well, Guess part, what part. doesn't happen? What? Anyone giving a single fuck. Well, part, part if, of... If I was at a bathhouse, I'm not even going to be... I wouldn't even be in a bathhouse like with multiple like naked people. But if I somehow obtained myself in that in that situation, I am not going to be looking at anybody's genitalia. I will barely be looking at anyone at all. I'll just be trying to get my shower and get out. So it would not bother. Well, me. well, that's see that that's why like I was bringing. That's why because this is a thought that I had the other day because my my brother was in Japan and he was in like a bathhouse there, and like. It, there there's like a whole bunch of uh you know like in like the women's section of the bathhouse there's like kids of all ages and like they're all just like 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 bathing and just like um, I, just feel, I feel like in that situation 
Uh, no, nobody's advocating for public showers where we're where adults are bathing with kids. I don't think I don't at all. Or, or people, people the angle to take, especially when we don't really have bathhouses like that in America. Yeah, unless you're going to specific spas or you're going to like a Korean bathhouse, in which they have specific guidelines on how they want that handled. This is a a very random pivot. It's not that random because the world is beyond America and womanhood is beyond America. But we're talking about America as we are. We're talking we, situation is we a aren't very talking about America. America. We're talking thing. about the world. Most bathhouses, most bathhouses in 2023 across the world are for adults. human do. Adults is what we're yeah, saying. Yeah, well, well people. Children uh, should not be there. So if you're an adult. Well, people, well, well let's just say places, people. Let's just no, say people. No, no, no. If you're an adult that's going to one of these places and you understand that there's going to be genital, genitalia out, then that's an adult to deal with not children we don't need to bring children into this nobody's advocating for having okay public so, bath so, houses so with children so let's just say a bathhouse with old women and uh a, and and would it would a trans person uh absolutely like, feel welcome yes trans women are welcome in my in wherever i'm allowed to be at yes and i, and I just told you how trans men are welcomed at the bathhouses that i've that i've been to uh, say that again. I just told you how trans men and trans women have been welcomed at the bathhouses that I've been to. Oh, that's great. I I feel like you're just like digging at this point. Well, I'm I'm digging at what point? Like no, at this point, as in like now, like at this point in the conversation, you're just digging for an issue well i, I thought you wanted to be, i'm trying I, I thought you came here for a debate this is not a debate at this point this is you just looking for a problem and no. you don't find one this is weird yes right so, we're so, looking for people with op actual opposition not just somebody who's trying to find a problem <clears throat> um well yeah i i came to just have some uh like have some some clarity and and say some things that could create some interesting conversations um, interesting conversations because quite literally at some point we all peed together until commercialism took place which is a whole other conversation and then otherwise in the 80s or the 90s majority of bathhouses in the united states of america closed because of a very specific outbreak that occurred um and the bathroom conversation that we're having now is one of those that can be considered a uniquely American issue, as when you travel outside this country, there are genderless bathrooms in other countries. So, like, I, this is very nuanced and also a very weird pivot to take to bathhouses. Because in other countries, there's uh, more genderless bathrooms. You're talking kind of fast. I couldn't hear you. <clears throat> But uh, yeah, so so the thing that I found interesting that you guys were talking about was saying that uh, uh, to to be trans, like to be trans, is is something that is like a. In, in what was that? Nothing. Sorry. <laughs> Did you see that, Richie? Wait, what happened? <laughs> um. Anyway, yeah. So. Yeah, I found it interesting that like, uh, like being trans is like a an internalized uh, kind of like, yeah, decision, despite like you know physical circumstance. And uh, I know for a fact that it's been said already that it's not a decision. How much are you actually listening in this kind of? Well, it's it's a decision, like conscious or subconscious. It's like a decision of the body. No, it's no, not. It's not even a subconscious. No, it's not. So it's not a subconscious decision. So here's what science says. Well, the, about... well, the body makes decisions. Uh, like, no, so here's what, what science says about uh, the po here's the possibility that science has explored about the possibility of a child um, having an incongruence, which would then later on lead to a child being diagnosed as trans. 
Um, right now, it's hypothesized that a person carrying a child or a fetus, if they have or experience immense stress within a certain time period of their pregnancy, that causes an imbalance of hormonal washes, which can then lead to a child experiencing significant significant what but hold on i'm gonna pause for a second adora i'm just gonna check in with you you're a good friend i know what just happened yeah, okay dealing with something on my discord okay yeah. just checking yeah. in with you just to make sure <laughs> sorry yeah. go ahead oh no you're good yeah which can lead to an imbalance of hormonal washes that the fetus receives which can cause an incongruence later on uh and this is hypothesized by um taking brain matter and seeing that there are trans women and trans men who have what seems to be identical matches in brain matter to that of a cis whatever the gender we're talking about would be and so that's not a decision that's being made consciously or subconsciously. It's a, it's a decision the body's making. The uh, do you understand? The, do you understand the difference between the conscious, the subconscious, and the somatic? Uh, yes. Yeah. Tell me the difference between the the conscious, the subconscious, and the somatic. Well, the, the conscious is is a decision you're making with awareness. The subconscious is a decision you We're are making. We're talking about development. We're not talking about a thought. There is no thought process in this. This is well, the I think all, developing. That's, this, yeah. Well, I think so, consciousness. I think consciousness is 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 like making decisions like beyond our like just like pure consciousness of you of your don't body's make any decisions in your body developing. Your body just develops, and sometimes things happen that changes how your body develops. That is not a decision consciously or subconsciously happening. Thank you for the Well, yeah, I guess you could, you could look at the functions of the body in many different ways. Like if I think like if you're, you get bitten by like a mosquito and uh, like, I think blood is deciding to go to that place, you know, are you like, high? Like, no. Blood doesn't decide to go to that place. It just does. Yeah, it does. It, like that's its decision. Like that's the way I look at it. Oh my god. How old is this person? Did he say eighteen? Is this an eighteen-year-old? Is that what we're talking what, about? What does what does the blood use to make that decision? You see us as separate from blood. You see you. What as... does the blood use to blood, make da, that da, decision? Da, 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 da. I see the human. I see. Like what the blood, does the blood, like the blood use to make that decision? Well, I'm, I, but, but instead of like hopping into like your narrow point, I'm going to explain my thought fully. And my thought fully is that I don't see the consciousness what does of our the blood, blood use to make that right, decision. You, you can keep on cutting me off, but I'm, I'm going to explain my point without having to hop into your uh, point. No, I, I saying, think you're fucking crazy. Okay, like, well, let me explain my point so you don't have to, to think make that. that decision. All right, listen to me explain my point instead of making me say the words that you want me to say. So what I'm saying is the blood moving to a specific point because of its awareness of the situation. I don't see differently from us getting into awareness. A you think blood has awareness? Yes, I do. I do. Yeah. Think what does what does blood use for an awareness? What does uh, blood use to have awareness? What do you use for awareness? My fucking brain. Yeah, and the blood does too. No, it doesn't. Yeah, I think. This is listen. trolling. You're no, a it troll. doesn't. This no, it, it literally doesn't. Listen. It literally I don't does see... not. The blood literally does not take messages from I, the I don't brain. believe. I don't believe free free will. Like that's like the point I'm getting at. The point I'm getting at is so I think there's like no choice, there's, there's no, and then your the yeah. whole your whole point is well. Me. That's why the, my my this, my word of choice. That's why when I said mm -hmm. choice, I said what like, does I, the blood I, use to make a choice? It uses like yeah, the if, if there's no free the will, infinite there's web no of consciousness in the galaxy. All right, guys, okay, well, we're we're getting a little too philosophical here. I'd really like to relive in. Uh.
Do, okay. do you, you have just said verbal the blood has thoughts. awareness. So. Yes, I think everything has awareness. I think do, everything do is conscious. Do you have verbal thoughts? All right, you, like, you guys clearly, you you guys clearly aren't like aware of like any do you Eastern think in words? Like, mindsets. Do you, you think you, in words? Do, do you have any familiarity with Eastern concepts of consciousness? Is it true? Do you think in words? I think in I think in both. I think in pictures. Actually, Is I think in true? pictures. I think in images. So That's great, amazing. So if Anybody? if you if you made the decision right now to raise your hand, that's the decision. Maybe that would be a conscious decision. If you um, dodged something that was coming at you, that would be subconscious. If a doctor took a mallet to your knee and you flinched, that would be a somatic. It's not a decision. If if a doctor takes the mallet and hits you on the knee to test your reflexes, that's not a decision. Well, I think everything it is does, that. It doesn't even what you just described, like hitting, that. it I doesn't think even use your brain for that. Hit, hit, hitting a mallet against your knee and making it kick up i think everything is that like i think every decision is the equivalent of that you are definitely lifted there, there's no way you, there's no way this is sobriety i think everything i think everything is is uh cause and action like i think you having that reaction of rolling your eyes to the thing i said is the equivalent of me hitting a, a hammer against you your think knee. everything is so no no yes, i made that, that choice my, you to roll work my eyes at my mouth. <laughs> Yeah, because of the stimuli that I gave you. Because of the stimuli. If, if I didn't give you that stimuli... No, I, didn't I that chose now, I you, you to never give you a make... message that you're fucking dense. I chose to give you that mes message. I don't even think it's he's dense, there... babe. I think he's lifted. It's gotta be. It's gotta be shrink. Okay. What did you take? That's, that's I, a very I, interesting perspective. I, I think you need to learn the difference between a thought, a decision, a reflex and a biological process. I think you think too compartmentalized, and that a lot of these things are uh, beyond the. Uh, I think I know a little bit about the biology of the human body because of my education. And I think that I don't think too compartmentalized. I think the education and I think the education it's system is flawed in many ways. Are you talking about the butterfly effect? But you're high. Is that what you're talking about? <laughs> I'm talking about uh, predeterminism. Okay, so can we not talk about predeterminism and start talking about whether or not I'm a woman? Yeah, we can. And, and that'd be a lot uh, more interesting than, than these people not understanding what I'm saying. Yeah, I'm not understanding what I you're saying. I don't think that you understand what you're, what you're saying. saying. That's the problem. Well, look into predeterminism, and then we could have a different conversation. I know what predeterminism is, and you think that everything is predetermined. Yes. Is that what you're saying? Which is what was stated earlier by saying you think that everything is somatic. I think everything's predetermined. Okay, so, uh, no, Armin, we've been doing this for, what, an hour now? Um, Wait, what does it mean, these blue, like, I, things hang that on, I have smoke. On, on my uh, profile picture? Yeah, that's how much money you've made. You've made $5. Um, yeah. yeah, I made more than that so, other guy that didn't know what I was saying. Okay. Oh, there he is, so, below me. What's his name? Hot dog? Yeah. Um, Can you tell me where the, ba the bad nuclei of the strat eye term analysis? Hell no. Okay. Oh, great. Have we gotten anywhere, Armian? Do you understand that trans women are women? Uh, Yeah, trans women are trans women. Okay, so we've gotten nowhere. This has been a waste of an hour. I made five dollars, though. And I made a hundred. You could have a good day. Congratulations. Uh, to answer the person in the comments question, is our man of the galaxy and, and the clouds are at one. They're at peace together. Him and the clouds are bonding right now. I, I just. That was frustrating. Holy fuck. Like, I was dealing with some shit on my Discord, and this was still more frustrating than the shit on my Discord. <laughs> what was that? 
not, not at all throwing any shade at my, my Discord mods. I love my Discord mods. They are doing a fantastic job. I make everything impossible for them by being a completely absent uh, Discord owner. <laughs> my mods have to do everything on their own. So sorry for my Discord mods. You guys are amazing. I love you. <laughs> um, yeah. It's just, I, I know, breaking a little bit of a rule, reading comments, someone was like, um, not very fair having three against one. First of all, it was two against one. Um, second, yeah, it wasn't even he thought he was winning. <laughs> he thought he was winning, so I'm glad someone knows he wasn't. And then also, I also looked at the comments very briefly, and that was my biggest mistake, that somebody just added him and was like, I love your philosophy. <laughs> the, the, the blood makes a decision to go to the mosquito bite. It's totally not enzymes and biochemicals. I got to clip that. <laughs> uh, someone said they want to come up. Who was it? Um, Smalls. Smalls, are you opposition? I'll bring you up if you're up. Um, I guess I'm just never ending today. I am going to hang on my friends at some point today. But uh, I guess I'm just never ending. The never ending live, guys. This is the live that never ends. <laughs> and it goes on and on, my friends. Adored. Hello, Hello. Smalls. Vented early. Hi, how are you? Doing all right. Um, your agent pronouns, please. Uh, thirty and she her. Fantastic. What were you saying, Buzzy? You saw this comment earlier. I can't hear you, Buzzy. I was I was asking if you heard what Goose comment if you saw what Goose commented earlier. No, I didn't. I saw that Goose was here, but I didn't see anything that was commented. I'll message you about it later. It was hilarious. Okay, cool. The okay, G Smalls. Am I a woman, I Smalls? Just, me personally, I say yes. I know that's not what you're looking for, but I just had a quick story if you don't mind me sharing. Um, if it's very quick, then yes. It is. It is. Um, I went to school with somebody who identified as a male later on in life realized um before i guess i don't know how to say it correctly but was identified as a she the whole time going through school no one ever questioned said him and his identity he went in the boys bathroom you know things like that so i don't understand why people don't assume that or why people can't just understand that you are a woman regardless of what you have done as far as transitioning what you're not doing as far as transitioning um that's just my opinion personally. I just think that a lot of people come on here and try to state obvious reasons of why you're not a woman. And I just think that that's unfair seeing as I went to school and never once saw this gentleman any different than what he was. And I think that that's what a lot of people should actually open up to is it's not about what happened when you were at birth or what you identify as or what your gender, or actually I should say what your sex was when you were given at birth. So that was just my quick little thought to tell you guys, or, you know, to tell all your followers was, you know, in, in my day that that was, he was a he, you know, regardless of what happened when he was at birth. Um, so that's just all I had to say. All right, fantastic. Uh, I appreciate you and I hope you have a good day. You too, hon. Bye. Thanks. Okay. Hello, O oh, Dizzle. What's up? How are you doing? Not, uh, I'm doing all right. Um, your agent pronouns, please. Uh, uh, are you doing your Dizzle? Him. him and what was the age? Uh, my question. Say that again. What was your age? I'm 48. 48, fantastic. Um, and am I a woman? Uh, I think you're not a woman. My question is, what makes you a woman? My name, um, persistent sense of self. I think we're breaking up. Something happened with the thing. I'm going to get off and maybe come add me back up. Is that cool? I 
I'm just going to move on to the next guest in that case. Uh, OJ. So I can hear you fine. Um, okay. Okay, next up. You know what, guys? Uh, I think I think I am emotionally spent, and I think that I'm going to end now. Uh, thank you all for being here, for you all. Thank you, Buzzy. Thank you, Hot Dog. You guys are awesome. And I will see you guys probably. I might be a little bit late tonight because I'm going to my friends. So uh, I will see you guys tonight. Bye.